All right, welcome back to Anton Math. Now, in this video and the next several videos, we're going to be looking at some additional examples of these polar graphs. So let's go ahead and look at one right now. Sketch sketch r squared equals 4 cosine 2 theta. So let's go ahead and draw our reference graph. Remember for this type, when we draw our reference graph, we're going to label it a little bit differently. We label this vertical axis as r squared. So remember here we're going to have to adjust for r squared later uh, when we're actually graphing. Because when we graph in the polar axis, we're graphing in terms of r, not r squared. We'll still call this theta. We're going to go all the way to 2 pi. Cut that in the middle pi. Notice that I have cosine 2 theta. So that means that my period here is just a period of pi. Let's go ahead and mark out some of these points. And then uh, I won't mark this side out so much because we'll we'll get some more information over here. Okay, I'm going all the way up to four and all the way down to negative four. And we're dealing with cosine, so we're going to look a little bit something like this. And remember, because we're dealing with r squared, as soon as I get into that negative, I'm going to go ahead and draw some dotted lines just to help me continue drawing my graph. But we have to remember that wherever I have these dotted lines, when we go over to draw in the polar, these dotted lines aren't actually a part of my polar graph because this is saying r squared equals a negative number, so that's actually not happening here. Um, in a complex graph, that may happen. Uh, but since we're dealing with real numbers, we don't have to worry about those negatives. So now I'm going to go ahead and graph this out. And we see we have r squared, so we know a couple of things. Um, r squared on the left usually means we're dealing with a lemnus gate. So that's the first piece of information we can pull out from this r squared. Uh, we have cosine. So that's going to tell us that we pass our first symmetry test. In other words, we're going to have symmetry over the polar axis. And from the r squared, we're also going to have symmetry across the pole. So we have two different kinds of symmetry happening here. If we uh, look at it, we probably won't have to graph anywhere past pi. Once we graph from 0 to pi, we'll be able to use our symmetry over the polar axis. Now let's go ahead and draw in some references here. I'll draw in a reference lines. And let's go ahead and draw them at this pi over 4 as well since we are having some pi over 4 in our reference graph and 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4, etc. And the one last thing to notice, remember last time I had mentioned that r squared is equal to 4 here on my reference graph. So when I'm graphing my actual polar equation, wherever I have r squared equals 4 on my polar graph, I only have r is equal to 2. Whenever I have r squared equals 0, I still have r is equal to 0. So it'll be a little bit, little bit forgiving there. And we are ready to graph. Let's go ahead and change our color. Um, from 0 to pi over 4, r squared is going from 4 to 0. So that means r is going from 2 to 0. Starts off slowly and then speeds up dramatically. Uh, from pi over 4 to 3 pi over 4, we have nothing, right? Um, in this area right here, we're empty. And pi over 2 to 3 pi over 4, we're also empty. So this whole area, this is where I don't have anything to graph. Now from 3 pi over 4 to pi, I'm going from 0 to 4 for r squared, so 0 to 2 for r. Let's go ahead and measure out 2, be about here. We go from 0 to 2. And now we're done, right? We're not done done, but we're done using my reference graph. Because we have that symmetry over the polar axis, I can go ahead and reflect over the polar axis both of these pieces I've graphed here. Let's connect them a little better. It'll look something like this. 
And there we have it. We have a lemnus gate. We know this is a figure eight. Um, and really the key thing, the reason I want to do this example is we have to be very careful when we're dealing with lemnus gates. Um, it's very common. You have this r squared and 4 on my reference graph, so it's very easy to write 4 here. Draw out 4, have yourself maxing out at r equals 4. Just remember that if r squared is 4, then when I'm drawing out r, my r should be 2. Alright, that's it for this example, so we'll see you in the next video for another one.